testing center. So your auto code wizard, this is going to allow you to tell deduce to go off and code around keywords in context that you choose. There are learning guides developed by yours truly in each step of this auto code wizard. I, I beg you to read them before you go <laughs> and actually make decisions. Because again, depending on your specific analytical method, your decisions will, will change. So we want to make sure that we're setting you up for success so that you're using this in a way that furthers your research. All right, so you'll see each of those hyperlinked in red. I'm going to go ahead and hit get started here. This is going to fire off the first step of the process, which is selecting your excerpting mode. Again, once deduce is released, you'll see you can click on this, this button here and you'll have a description of each one of these options and best practices around each. Today, we're going to use the create new option. So this means we're gonna tell deduce, hey, we want you to go off and create new excerpts around this specific keyword. And we're gonna tell you what code we want applied. You'll notice you can also have deduce only use existing excerpts. So if you don't want it to create new excerpts in your project, you want to stay isolated on your current excerpting. Maybe you've narrowed down what your data set focus should be via excerpts. You can hit use existing. You also have the option to do both, which to me sounds a little dangerous, but maybe that's just because I'm I'm purely qualitative. So you, you can have to just go off and use existing excerpts and create new at the same time. That might be useful, for instance, if you have gone through and coded half of your data and then you realize, oh, there was this really important topic that we now need to code for, and we would have to go back through half of our data set. Well, instead of doing that, you could hit the create new or create new and use existing option to make sure that you, you flag all of those. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue on create new. Deduce is going to ask what you want the approximate excerpt length to be. You have one sentence, three sentence, and paragraph. Know that Deduce's reading paragraph breaks. So you will be able to adjust your excerpt parameters on step, I believe, four. We'll go through that. Maybe it's step three. Um, so just know that this is an approximate estimation and it depends on how you formatted your data. So if you had a double space in between each sentence that a participant was, was talking, that would be read as a paragraph. Usually with qualitative research, we advise you to err on the side of more context in your excerpts rather than less. But if you're using autocode, again, it may be a very specific purpose or maybe you've already done some excerpting. So it might might change your decision here, but I'm gonna go with paragraph for now. Maybe I should pause. Hannah, any questions around step one? No, I think we're good. So next up, we're gonna hit select documents, that next button. This is going to ask us what documents we want to be included in this run of the wizard. I'm just gonna select a couple here for now. And then you can hit next to go to your search term and code selection. So when I'm thinking through how I'll personally use autocode, I always wanna be flagging a new code indicating that, hey, this was a, an automation, this was an autocode wizard job, not my specific coding. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna hit create new code before I even insert my, my search term. So you could do it the opposite way as well. You could in, insert search term. But there was this, this word of museum coming up. So I'm going to title this AC for autocode museum. And then I'm just going to go autocode around this topic and hit submit. So we have that new code. This is the code that will be applied to these excerpts if we choose to take it all the way through. And let's just say I want to be very specific with museum. You can do exact match if you want to make sure. I'm trying to think of an example. If you were searching for the word eat, for instance, and you didn't want to include words that had eating or you know excerpts like eating, um, you would want to use exact match. You'll also see an option for include synonyms. So if you wanted to have synonyms of museum, 
listed, you could do that as well. I'm going to leave this. Yeah, let's see what synonyms. So yeah, you'll see the synonyms pop up here for you. And you can choose which ones you may like. I'm actually going to include some of these just for fun. Gallery hall exhibit. Yeah, why not? All right, so and I selected my code. It's on AC Museum. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So this is where Deduce is going off and it's grabbing potential excerpts for you that match your search parameters. It's going to just kind of recite your settings back to you. And then once it's complete, I'm going to hit review autocode candidates. And this is where you have an option to actually review and modify each one of these. You'll see that you have an option to reject, accept on an individual excerpt basis. You also have the option to reject all or accept all. If you think, you know, let's say you were very specific and there were 10 excerpts located, maybe you want to start off with accept all because it's assumed that you're, you're going to be accepting most of them and then you can just reject a couple. I'm going to clear my selections here. And this is really important. So you can hit that view context button. This is going to pull up the proposed excerpt for you. It's going to be highlighted and bolded. What's really great about this is let's say you wanted to extend this excerpt. You don't want it to just be these couple of sentences. If you want it extended, you can tell the deuce, hey, we want to include this bit about Jon Stewart here. So we can highlight and hit update. And so now that full context will be included in the excerpt. So if you're feeling iffy about deduce trying to decide your excerpt length, just know that it can still do that keyword search, find you the relevant passages in your media, and then you can have that final, um, that final pass on making the excerpt length the correct one that you want. Um, there was a question about um, if there's double spacing in the document, would that affect the autocode or is it still reading like paragraph, like, you know, a, a return as, as the end of a paragraph? I believe double spacing would trigger it to read it as a new paragraph. Okay. Yeah. But again, that's why it's important to play around with these, like in a test project to get a feel for the algorithm. And again, it is nice that you can adjust these on the fly. Saw a lot of emojis come through when we adjusted. Mm -hmm. When the autocode <laughs> features came through. Uh, I hit update. I'm going to hit close. And let's just say I'm, I'm accepting that one. You can do the same if you want it to be minimized. This is a bad example. But let's just say we wanted a tiny, tiny excerpt with just that portion. We can highlight it and hit update. And it will change it for you. There was another question about the words um, inputting. You can put your own synonyms in, correct? Yes. You could either yeah. have to do populate them when you include synonyms, or you could put you could populate all of the boxes below. So you could either put in synonyms, or you could put in words that are not synonyms, but they would all be coded yeah. at this as with the same code, correct? Great question. Yeah, you can insert up to ten search terms in one auto code run. So yeah, if you want to input your own synonyms. You absolutely can. And as far as phrase searching, I think it would have to be an exact type of phrase to be able to pull up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm it's not sure. We'll have to phrase. ask. Yeah, we'll have to ask. And we can do that that test as well to see if it will would do a phrase instead of just a word. Any other questions up to this step before I go to the point of no return and hit submit here? I well, I did want to make a note here. Got so much suspense. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I did want to note, though, because there were some, you know, like hardcore qualitative folks that are, are worried about these features. A couple of them brought up the point that this is still a really nice feature. You don't have to accept any of these. So it is an advanced search feature that will allow you to see excerpts you know, in the context of your full document and give you an idea of just, well, how often is museum coming up? Is it coming up in a relevant way? Or is it people just kind of saying it offhand and, and we can ignore it? So it can be a quick way 
to do that search and decide if it's something that you want to code around. You don't have to hit submit at the end of the day. But you know what? I am. I'm going to hit submit. <laughs> this is just going to confirm with you how many excerpts Deduce is going to create and how many it's going to modify. It's going to create four excerpts for me. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And then this is going to just give you another overview and link you to some guides about what you can do to locate and how to work with these excerpts after they're created. So again, always view these learning resources at the top when you're learning how to use this feature. You'll see a little return to start button and you can also hit reset all if you wanna run it again on a different keyword or maybe different excerpt parameter settings. Anything to note before I go to the newly created excerpts? And there's a question about, you can reject all auto codes at the same time, correct? Yep, yep. Yeah, so you have full control here. That's another thing that's that's nice oh, about- Oh, auto codes, I see, I misread the question. Auto codes from just a particular point in the interview, no. It was asking about dis distinction between interviewer and interviewee in a transcript. If you could only accept, you know, the auto codes that were for the interviewee or the interviewer. Um, oh, no. You would have to go through and manually do that. Yeah. 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 All righty here. So now I'm going to go and where I'm going next will answer a couple of these questions that I see in the chat. So I just want everyone to know that you can go to this auto code history button or not button, uh, tab, to see all previous autocode runs in your project. You're going to see what the search term was, what code was applied, and the results here. You'll also see who initiated that. To quickly get to these newly created excerpts, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One way is through your excerpts workspace. You can quickly filter or excuse me, sort by newly created excerpts. So here we see those four excerpts that Deduce created for us that have that code AC Museum. And I just sorted by date to get to those. So you can pull those up. And from here, you could add more codes, you know, add more nuance to these. If you wanted to get back to the core document, the data source that they came from, you can always hit that view in context button. Another way you can get to them is via your code book. So if I go to that AC museum code and click on the excerpt count number, it's just going to pull up all excerpts that were coded with that code. It's also going to tell me how many pieces of media they came from. And again, you can click on these to do further analysis on them. Now, if you are using the method of flagging a specific code for your autocode workflows, which again, highly recommend doing. Even on different runs, I would think through if it's helpful to create an AC2 museum code, because then again, you can just select this code. And I think we already had a museum code in here. Yeah, museum projects. See if there's any others. So let's say I just want to add those autocode excerpts into my core museum projects. Excerpts, I can hit merge. And we're just going to make sure that the museum project is the top level code. AC Museum is going to be deleted from our code book, but all of those excerpts are now going to be in museum project. So that's one workflow. A little bias toward my my method and my style of qualitative research, but just an example for you in those learning resources, there will be many more scenarios outlined for you. Um, again, it can be great for inductive coding, large scale survey data. This will help save you a lot of time to do that open coding. Um,